Hi everyone, so today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from IBG models. It comes in 170 second scale and it might be useful for some diorama project in this uh, size. As you can see here we get the Italian crew and it might be useful for the Alte Canone, so Italian vehicle. And as you can see there are three guys molded or printed in 3D in 170 second scale so it's quite a special release because there are not that many brands who are actually doing this so that's why I decided to take a closer look and as you can see here I have the final shape of this release and you should be getting exactly the same stuff if you order it from official IBG website. So first of all the box size is typical it's a small box as you can see there is not that much of information we have the barcode here and that's pretty much all no history notes no reference photos so it's just uh, pretty much standardized packaging and here we have also the bottom flap which is easy to open there is the uh, bubble wrap for the figurines and as far as you can see the figurines are packed into several plastic bags so probably I will have to take it a bit off the table so just give me a second just to handle it better so one of the guys was actually printed without the um, ziplock back so i will just zoom in in order to show him first and here you can see what i'm talking about so there are no assembly manuals or any other additions and if camera will be kind enough to focus now you should be able to see what i'm talking about so all of these supports obviously should be deleted and this soldier is depicted in the seated position and also we have the uh, various well part of the canone actually molded here and this is really cool because here you get a bit more interaction with the vehicle i think in this scale it matters even more because uh, it just adds a bit more sophistication and it shows the size of the actual vehicle so as you can see the printing quality is also quite clean you just need to remove the supports from the bottom there is no other flash or other um, I would say complications which will require some extra work now I'm opening another plastic bag so here I can see we have the soldier with the ammo round so I guess Again, I will bring it closer in my hands and if camera will be fast enough to focus, you should be able to see that this is the soldier in a standing position. So as you can see, the ammo round is also promoted together with him as well as the various equipment in form of the helmet, for example. And the surface details are really good. So here I don't have anything to complain about. And let's not forget about the size. You can see it in comparison with my thumb and this is really small figurine. It will require some skills in order to properly paint it but I think the final result should be completely worth it because again there are not that many alternatives available first and even less alternatives available in the same level of the uh, quality I would say. Next there is one more with the uh, levers in the hand so as you can see again he is in the seated position again we have the supports on the bottom and again we have part of the wick or a cannon in the hands so you have to somehow combine it together with original release or with original plastic but i think it's doable especially for the better effect afterwards so definitely a good thing to try to adapt with the plastic model so overall we get three guys in 170 second scale and it should be already available for quite a reasonable price on official ibg website and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye